What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and I want to talk about the same site Cookie because <laughs> despite me discussing this property for like three or four or five videos, I still every day I find out new things about the same site equal lax, uh, same site equal strict and all these properties and these special uh, rules and, and governance uh, with regards to this property and, and what is the implication for for us engineers when it comes to this property so I talked about same side guys if you want to learn about this thing in general go watch this video right here but I learned something new today thanks to some uh, some of you guys who actually sent me a message say hey Hussein, do you know about this do you know about same side there is like a case when when the cookie is less than two minutes ago it has different contract compared to others it's like what so let's discuss this so guys very very quickly same site attribute so when i visit this website for example any any website like chromestatus.com right any cookie that has been set for chromestatus.com will be sent with my attempt to hit enter right or visiting the site Right. If if my if the cookies exist assigned to this domain, it will be sent. However, the act of loading that website also makes requests to other cross site requests. Right. So cross site domains, the other than Chrome sites, Chrome status. So for that, these cookies that are going to another website implicitly without me actually doing anything about it magically making a request let's say for google ads or whatever websites going uh, making requests from this domain cookies for those third-party domains that are hidden kind of are called third-party cookies we talked about that and if those cookies the same site property controls whether you want to send those cookies to those third-party sites that you're not in. You're not on chromestatus.com. You're not in this major top-level domain. What do you do for those cookies that you, you're going to like from other requests? And very specifically, sending get requests or idempotent safe request will be... Uh, is different than sending post request and non item potent request. So let's talk about that a little bit. So if I let's say the property lacks, right, which means that you are allowed to send the cookies as long as the cookie, uh, first of all, exists on the other side, right, and the cookie is marked as lacks. If it's marked as lacks and you're making a get request, like you're loading an image you're doing a fetch command or a fetch command or XHR and doing a get request, that's absolutely fine. The act of you making the call to the other website that is not the website that you're visiting right now will send the cookie, right? For get requests, essentially. And if you click on a link like this, that like goes to some other site like this, for example, WebKit, the act of clicking that link with your choice, will also send the cookies for webkit.org if they exist, right? So if you had cookies for webkit.org and you click on that link, you're going to send those cookies to webkit.org, right? With, however, post request, right, whether they are executed immediately when you load the page or whether uh, uh, they are uh, like a, as a script code, given that the cross uh, the content security policy is not violated then post requests are not getting sent in case of lax that's just the rule we only send co a lax cookies let's say when the when you're doing a get request not when you're doing a post request however there is an exception to the rule as usual so let's read this and then explain it Chrome will make an exception for cookies set without the same site attribute and that we talked about that if you're not setting the same site attribute it's treated as lax but there is a code here 
and less than two minutes ago. Such cookies will be sent with non-item potent post request. So if you have just set uh, a cookie for another site within those two minutes and you're making a post request from this website to that, to the third party website, then the post request will be sent because those cookies are just fresh cookies, two minutes. I don't know why two minutes, but I'll get to explain my theory of why this is an exception, right? And obviously, it says the support for lax plus post will be removed in the future. So pay attention to this, right? So post request to third party sites, cross site site, will send those laxed cookies if they are created within two minutes and i believe the reason for this is for single sign-on uh, sites right because most of the single sign-on if you go to a website there it makes internally it makes a post command to a third party website which is the single sign-on octa or whatever right and then it it actually set that post request and if that request succeeds it checks out do i have a cookie here right if you had a cookie set but you have already signed in then you will be basically uh immediately get back the the cookie right you get you get back a result from the post command that says okay you have signed into that website you're good so what we're going to do is change the user experience to uh, now you're logged in so we're going to redirect uh, to the proper side and set the appropriate top level cookie and and we're going to recognize you as a single sign on right if that post request to the third side which is octa or wherever fails let's say says oh i don't know you there is no cookie then the site will say okay let's redirect you to octa.com so that's you say oh let's redirect the site will redirect to octa.com you're going to put your credential you're going to hit enter that will set the octa top level cookie and then it's going to redirect to back, back to the page that you want to sign into the service and then you will execute that post command again right to Okta and says, oh, am I actually signed in? And the act of doing a post, if you're doing same site lags and within two minutes, which is, we are, right? That's, that, that was very quick, right? I probably took two minutes. So if you took more than two minutes to actually, not really, that's not correct. But if you, if you come back and uh, just execute that post request, that will send your cookie, your Okta cookie, and Okta will recognize you, and then obviously the site will change, right? This is what caused, first, before this thing, this was causing a havoc, because the infinite redirect when it comes to single sign-on, right? Because you you visit this page, you send the post request, but that obviously post requests are not originally was not allowed for same side remember same side lacks so we will not send the cookie to okta you will be redirected you will log in and then you will sit the cookie for okta which is already there or was that cookie was already there but you go back to your original site and then you try to make that post remember again and the browser will never send those cookies because they were same site lacks before those two minutes, before this exception. And you'll end up with this infinite loop scenario. So those two minutes, I think were added as a kind of a hack to avoid all this, right? The other option is just change as a developer, back end developer in Okta to set the same site equal none, right? Which is very dangerous in my opinion. So I think, the Google team or the Chrome team doing this hack is actually better so that Okta can still set their cookies as lax and enjoy the security that comes with lax cookies. Plus there is like teeny beeny exception when it comes to post, right? Command, and it's only within two minutes. So if someone hacked, uh, managed to do a cross-site uh, request for, uh, forgery, or cross side, uh, cross side uh, scripting, they will not be able to hijack that that cookie, right? Because it usually happens after the two minutes.
right? So yeah, I think we're good here, guys. So that's the idea of this um, for th for this uh, change. So guys, just pay attention that this is going away. So if you're relying on this as a front-end engineer, as a single sign-on engineer, you're working on this, pay attention that this will go away. And don't freak out when it does. So we're gonna, I'm going to make another video when it does. There is not much information about this uh, as of today. And this is the only page I found discussing this. But if I find more, I'm going to let you know, guys. And... Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, that, that's it for today. I just wanted to make a video discussing this two-minute change and the single sign-on and and this all trickery and it's so fascinating how much we don't know about all this stuff and and every day I'm learning something new from you guys. Thank you so much for sending me these notes, sending me these articles, sending me these new things, and we're all learning new things every single day. I'm gonna see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Go goodbye.